Hey guys, Professor Mike here. Welcome back or to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, um, I'm going to describe the best interior mod that you can get for any kind of truck, any kind of car. Um, and it's gonna be floor mats, specifically the Husky Liner floor mats. I and mean, I know I preach this all the time, but I'm, I'm telling you guys, these Husky Liner floor mats have been absolutely great to me. I've had them on the truck for a little over a year and a half now. They've been absolutely awesome. Uh, you can actually just take them out and uh, hose them down, degrease it and put them back in. But as you see, under the carpet, it's absolutely flawless. They do have these spiky pads on the bottom so they don't slide around on the carpet. And I did do a review a little while ago against other floor mats and I just decided, you know, go ahead and keep the Huskies. And um, I just thought they were a better product in my opinion, but the other ones are not too bad as well. But you definitely have to get floor mats in general. So if you only have the other ones or you only have like ones that came from the factory, please use those because it's the best interior and it actually will preserve the carpet. Sorry, my truck's a, a mess right now. I'm in the move, process of moving stuff around. But even back here, like if I lift this up here. All right, so even back here, I do have the Husky liners all the way to the back, way down there and um, they've been absolutely great. I mean, I have people in this truck all the time. They are uh, getting dirty boots, uh, sand, water uh, from the beach. I mean, just whatever, they spill things back here all the time and having these will definitely uh, make sure there's no stains in the carpet, uh, make sure that there is um, no bugs or anything because what happens is, is it'll fall on these grooves and you can just take them out, like with my one hand, take it out, hose it down, Slide and let them dry and slide them back in. They're super easy and they are really durable. And what one gripe I had from the other floor mats that I was reviewing was this piece right here is what you need. You need to get floor mats that have this piece right here because what happens is when water or whatever it is falls through these channels, it's gonna channel out. And if there's a guard here, it actually will block that instead of seeping into your to your door uh, into your um, into your door sill um, and then seep it into the carpet somehow. Uh, but let's go ahead and check the driver's side. All right, so this is the driver's side right here. And like I said, I take these out. Usually I do a car wash and I'll go ahead and take this out. Sometimes I'll just um, shake them out and sometimes I'll get the vacuum in here and we'll just get everything out. But it doesn't really get too dirty uh, because I just take them out all the time. But I don't. I also don't live in a snowy area or a muddy area so um i don't really have to clean them that often but oh my god if i lived in this place like that you best believe i would have this actually this is like one of the first things i bought right away i was like i gotta get these it's either these or the weather tech floor mats i just heard a lot of reviews about the huskies for the f-150 and decided you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get those i think they're the best fit for the truck um it just looks weird as well with the carpeted uh with the carpets without the without the i don't know the mats just doesn't look right in a truck. Like you look at you look in a truck and you're like, okay, it's got the got the mats. Like it's like heavy duty, it's like durable. When you have like just carpet, it's like oh, I can't you can't get dirty. Like it's you know trucks are made to be for work. They're made to get dirty and stuff like that. So just like my Mustang, I had carpet carpet floor mats and carpet uh carpet floors. So it was just you know it was, was kind of weird at times. But I mean, it's a sports car. It's made to be clean all the time. Yeah, these are these have been amazing. They are about $120 on Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check these out. A lot of you have bought um, the floor mats from my link, so I do get a small commission when you guys do that. It really helps out and supports the channel. And if you are looking at switching up your floor mats, I definitely recommend the Huskies. And like I said, about 100. 30 to 120 dollars and they're definitely uh, worth it because if you have to actually pay to get these carpets distracted um ever at least one time in your entire life you're all you're already paying more than the uh, floor mats themselves so you might as well just make that investment and uh if that, it's, that's one thing i can recommend for the interior it's going to be the floor mats because this time and time again has shown how many people i've had in this truck and that things have spilled because you got friends in the back and they're drinking uh they're at the beach they're they're making a bunch of mess in the back like I said, I don't live in a snowy or muddy area, but still, even like just living in Florida in flat land, it gets it gets crazy, crazy uh, dirty sometimes. And I, I I couldn't believe I can't imagine if I didn't have the the floor mats because I would have carpet stains. It starts to smell. You'll get bugs and everything. 
You don't want any of that. These are super easy because they're like a, um, they're like a, a, like a rubber, like a plastic rubber. So they're super easy to clean and they don't, uh, what's the word? <clears throat> Nothing sticks to them because it's not like a sticky kind of rubber. It's like a slide, so it slides around. So it's super easy for dirt to, um, to slide. Like you just spray it right off, like, like nothing. All right, so there you guys go. I hope you uh, liked this video. And if it did uh, provide value to you, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 8 p.m. If you're wondering what I've done to this truck, I'll have a link in the description for the floor mats. And then I have a link for every other mod I've done to the truck. It's about 20 different mods. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Like I said, leave a like and comment for the YouTube algorithm and uh, so that YouTube will share this with other people. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.